Hi friends, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Neha and I run the wellness blog and YouTube channel Neha Beauty. Thank you so much for joining me. Today I'm going to share with you my 2020 intentions and what I have planned up my sleeve. So let's jump into it. Okay, so I'm sitting down with my little planner here. This is the Happy Planner, by the way. Um, and this is what I use to kind of plan out my um, week, month, day, everything. And I also put all my goals and intentions and stuff in here. So this is just gonna be a really casual chit chat video where I'm gonna sit down and just kind of walk you through what's on my mind and what I'm hoping to um, achieve this year. Yeah. So the first thing I did was, I sat down and wrote down, I just kind of journaled it. I didn't do anything crazy, um, but I did take time to go through my personal process, um, which includes reflecting on last year, thinking about what I would do differently, dreaming really big, um, and then thinking about how to break that down into action steps, like habits that I want to form. Um, and if you want to know more, I did actually create a really great PDF download of my entire process this year. This is the first time I've ever put together anything like this to offer you guys. So I'll make sure to link that down below where you can download it. It's completely free, but it's a really great 18 page workbook that walks you through reflecting on your year, um, taking time for yourself to think about your dreams. And so um, when I sat down and did that, I tried to write down what my major intentions were for where I want to be in the next one year, in five years, and in 10 years. Um, and I have to say, it's really fun to sit down and do this. You, you deserve to daydream, you deserve to indulge. So I really encourage you to sit down, take an afternoon or even an hour to yourself, um, get a cup of tea and curl up and dream a little bit. So here's what I wrote down for my intentions. I'm a little embarrassed to kind of share this, but it's okay. Um, what I wrote down was be in my best health ever by age 40. That's right. So I'm currently 38 years old. Um, so that's why, you know, I'm, I'm just picking a number in the future. Um, but I basically want to get into my best possible health. And I want to clarify, this is not just about external appearance for me or what my body looks like. I personally believe that true health um, from the inside is comprised of, you know, very good cholesterol, really great cardiorobic, you know, cardiovascular ability, um, putting your head down on a pillow and falling asleep easily, not needing caffeine in the morning to get going, having energy, feeling flexible in your body, feeling light, feeling joyful, having a good mood, um, having positive thoughts. This is what good health looks like to me personally. And I think a fit and healthy physique will be a byproduct of taking good care of ourselves from within. So really nourishing ourselves. Um, and it's just, it's a life goal for me to get into the best possible health ever. Um, not a notice, I'm not saying my best body. <laughs> it's not just about that. So get into my best health ever. The next one I wrote is unhook completely from praise and criticism. And this comes from the book called Playing Big. The author really talks about how we need to quiet our inner critic, the voice of our inner critic, and to turn up the volume on our inner mentor. But the way that we're gonna do this is by um, detaching from both criticism and praise, no longer needing this constant praise um, or, or a completely criticism-free environment. That's something I wanna work on. Another intention I have is reading 20 books in 2020. Now I've said this before that like I wanna read more or listen to more audiobooks and stuff but I've never given myself like a number to go after. Um, but here's what's funny. Every time I set the intention of reading more, um, I always end up reading a couple more books than I probably would have on my own. So I'm not too worried about actually hitting the number 20, but I liked the idea of having that cohesive little, little thing. Next up, surround myself with positive people. And that includes our beautiful community that we are creating right here on YouTube, on my blog, and on Instagram. 
I just think it's so important to find other like-minded individuals who have the same passions as you, who might have different ideas as well and challenge you in a way that's really productive and constructive, but I'm ready to kind of let go of um, any negativity, letting go of anything that no longer serves me, and building a new community and nurturing relationships that I already have that are super, super positive and enriching. The next one is have my best blog and YouTube year ever. So this shouldn't come as much of a surprise. I definitely want to keep spreading um, basically positivity throughout the internet and my personal take on what that looks like and what that feels like. So um, I'm excited this year to keep working on my blog and keep working on my YouTube. In years past, and if you look at my old videos, you might even pick up on this, but in years past when I used to say this, I had kind of more fear even when I was declaring it because I didn't really know how I was going to succeed or how I was going to go do things or how I was going to grow. I had no plan for it and I, deep down I felt like I didn't know actually what I was doing. But this year I am letting go of that fear and this year I do feel excited and eager to work on these things because my plan now is very simple. It's kind of just two things. One, keep going. <laughs> record videos, write blog posts, and put them out into the world. And also, you know, making sure that it's things that feel true uh, to me. Uh, if these are videos I would watch and I would find helpful and blog posts I would read and I think are interesting, put that out into the world. And two, so one is just keep going, keep creating. And step number two is stop comparing. This has always been one of my biggest downfalls, you guys. Um, that temptation to look at other bloggers, other YouTubers, or just other people on Instagram who seem to be growing way, way faster, or seem to have a more clear message, or seem to have really great branding, blah, blah, blah. These are all just excuses, and essentially, behind all of those statements is essentially just a layer of fear. It's just fear, and that fear is what holds you back in life. So. Um, yes, I want to have my best blog and YouTube year ever. I believe I will get there by staying the course <laughs> and actually enjoying it too. And my last intention for 2020 is to take back my time and independence. So this is really, um, this is really about creating space to focus on myself. When you have a family, or children in your life, and you're working, and you're trying to get healthy, and you've got a blog, and a spouse, and this, 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 and that, um, it can be really easy to forget to put yourself first. Um, oftentimes, as women, we love taking care of everyone around us, and we forget about ourselves, and you fall to the bottom of the list, or sometimes you're not even on the list for a week, or a month, or for a while. And so I want to remind myself to take back my time. It's okay to ask for time. It's okay to take out time for myself and remind myself that I am independent. And uh, while I love my family, I can simultaneously love myself and nurture myself and give back the gift of time and creativity and joy to myself. And by taking care of ourselves first, we truly do have so much more to give to other people. I came across like a quote or something in a video I was watching just yesterday um, about waterfalls. And if, if you've ever looked at a waterfall or like a photo of a waterfall, what is it actually doing? Well, it's, you know, it's a river um, and it's tumbling off the edge, right? But if you think about it, it, let's suppose all that water dried up and it was completely flat. The first few, you know, gallons or liters of water that are in there, it, it won't it won't fall over the edge just yet, right? Of that river. It might start as just like little pools, little pools of water here and there. It doesn't become a beautiful, inspiring, powerful waterfall until what? Until the water rises to a level of fullness, and then it's the overflow. It's the overflow that is rushing down and giving us this beautiful sight of a waterfall. So 
I'm not explaining this very well, I think, but the point is giving comes from the overflow. So you have to fill your cup up to fullness and then the overflow is what you have to give. That's your extra that you have to give to your family and loved ones and people in your life. That's what you have to give to everyone else in your life. It's about the overflow. So anyway, coming back to this, taking back my time and independence is all about filling up my cup to fullness and then from there, from the overflow, giving to everyone else around me. So those are my intentions for 2020. I also just hope to have lots of really fun experiences. I would like to have more fun this year. Last year was kind of a more quiet year, a family focused year. I didn't really travel a whole bunch. Um, I was kind of, I was home a lot. I had a lot of visitors come to see us here in Seattle, but I would like to do a little more fun and try a few new things this year, do something different. So um, you'll have to stay tuned and see how I do. And you will have to keep me accountable as well to all of these great goals that I have. I would love to hear what some of your goals are or if any of these happen to resonate with you, please let me know in the comments. And if you liked this video, please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I would love to stay connected with you. And you can find me over on Instagram at Neha Beauty and I'd love to chat more. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.